So, you gonna tell me we ain't gonna hit back at Kane? You know the score. We hit him, it's a war. We already at war. I'm gonna handle this How you gonna do that? We fix shit with his family, or I take him and his whole crew out myself. This McCain got legitimate beef. We got legitimate beef. We killed his brother and we ain't take care of his family. What the fuck you expect? I'm gonna go find Peaches, and after that, I'm gonna get that nigga Kane. It's about black bodies in the street. It's our people wiping each other out. You went to the plug behind my back. With Lil Rock. My expansion idea. Which we made happen. We're trying to be reasonable. And what if I say fucking reasons? You wanted to be out in front. Now you are. Good luck. Franklin walked away last night. For real? <laughs> How? No bitterness. No competition. Sure. Could be. Yeah, I don't think so. No. We in. Give me some more shit, pain. <laughs> you keep this shit going. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Snowfall, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're gonna be talking about Snowfall Season 6, and we're gonna be talking about your boy, Jerome. This is the early predictions. So down below, I want you guys to let me know how do you see things playing out for Uncle Jerome in Season 6 of Snowfall. Um, we've been breaking down characters already, just doing early predictions, and we will continue to break down some more of these characters. You guys, make sure you check out my last few Snowfall videos. I dropped the early predictions video for Leon a few days ago, and I also dropped the Aunt Louie's Big Mistake last week. So check those videos out. Also, if you're looking for a new show, check out the Your Honor Season 2 video that I did last week. Season one is already on Showtime, so you can watch the entire season. Get yourself ready for the upcoming season, which will be airing in January of 2023. But I'm telling you, Your Honor is a solid show. So check it out. That way you can be updated when we start doing the recaps next year. But let's talk about your boy, Uncle Jerome. And he's had a hell of a journey in this last season. He got married to Aunt Louie, and it seemed like everything was going good for them just for a little bit, right? Now, this whole thing, the entire season, in my opinion, was just trying to stay out of all the drama. He didn't really want to be in no drama, especially family issues. This is what he told Aunt Louie. He didn't want to be a part of any issues that she had with Franklin. And he pretty much just wanted everything squashed. No blood versus blood. That's something that he was not willing to do. Now, as the season continued to air out, we started to see Jerome change up a little bit. I mean, they did get shot at by Kane's boys and his whole demeanor started to change and he was pissed off. Now, if you go back to the episode where he was looking for Peaches, when Leon told him, this is not just about getting back at Kane. This is about, you know, us killing each other. Black on black crime, it has to stop. We got to stop doing this. And throughout that episode, Jerome, he started to see things like, man, you know, maybe he's right. He started to see what the drugs was doing to people. You know what I'm saying? He went into that crack house where he was trying to find Peaches and he seen what it was doing in his body language. You can just tell Jerome, Deep down inside, this ain't really what he wants to do for real. And let's just be honest. If we go back to the very beginning of Snowfall, Jerome was the main person telling Franklin not to do this. You know, he said, if you take that brick, it's going to bring so much trouble. And he was right. What he predicted at the very beginning of this series was correct. And now everybody's going to have to deal with the consequences of it, right? Now, Jerome ended up getting married. We know that. And then he started to do things Louis wanted him to do, you know. And we know Louis, she went behind Franklin's back, made a deal with Teddy, something that probably should have never happened at all. You don't go behind family's back, plain and simple. And some of you guys was mentioning that Jerome probably should have stopped that, but it didn't happen. Louis was doing her own thing. She was making her own moves. I mean, season five, in my opinion, was, I guess, Aunt Louis's new beginning. She became Queen Louis. She was running shit, right? And in season six, we're going to see those consequences of her actions. And we started to see Jerome defend Louis a little bit more through the arguments that she would have with Franklin, especially about the whole move she made with Teddy. We know Jerome was pretty much throwing out the things that he thought was good in the deal and, you know, how he thinks it should go that way. Franklin didn't give a damn about any of that. Hell, at the end of season four, he was kind of doing the same thing, talking about we did this, we did that or whatever. Franklin was still pissed off 
about that. So Jerome has definitely made his decision on whether he's picking blood or he's picking his wife, Louie. Based off his actions, Louie is who he's rolling with. Your boy, Avi, he mentioned it. He said, look, y'all like Bonnie and Clyde. And we already know what happened to Bonnie and Clyde. They didn't last. You know what I'm saying? So most likely this whole story won't end well for both of them. And that's one of my predictions. If you've been following my channel, I always thought something bad was going to happen to Uncle Jerome. And after each season, he continued to survive. But in season six, it is time for a lot of people to pay. And as I told you, it's going to be the consequences season. The government is not going to be playing around. And seeing that Aunt Louie has pretty much started a big war, we know Kane is coming. And of course, we know Teddy, he can never be trusted. I mean, what do you think is going to happen? On top of that, we got Franklin coming at her. It's going to get real, real ugly. Now, did you notice how everything was all good? I mean, she made the move with Teddy. Jerome was happy. They was on a little honeymoon. Louis was happy. But when Louis got that call that Franklin stepped away, the look on Jerome's face told everything we needed to know. Because he knew deep down inside it was going to be bad. And even though Louis was talking about, oh, it's going to be no more bitterness, no more competition and all that stuff. Jerome, he knows what time it is. He knows this is not going to end well because he knows Franklin ain't just going to walk away like that. Something is bound to happen, right? This is what he's been thinking. And Louis even told him, like, do you think something is going to happen or whatever? You think this is good? And Jerome, he just played it off like, F it. Like, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it going or whatever. Pretty much just trying to play it off, but he knows what time it is. This is why at the end of the episode when Franklin robbed Louis, that look on Jerome's face when he, you know, saw his page on his beeper, he knew, like, damn, see, this is what I wanted to avoid. This is why I did not want family versus family. This is what I've been talking about. But, hey, this is what you wanted, Jerome. You married Queen Louis, so now it is time to deal with those consequences. You decided to go ahead and stick with her. So go ahead and stick with her to the very end, because I got a feeling that the end is near. It's definitely near. It's whether Jerome getting smoked, Louis getting smoked, that whole little, you know, marriage, Bonnie and Clyde thing, it ain't ending well. Somebody getting smoked, we going to be smoking on a pack easily between one of those two. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, I didn't really want nothing happening to Jerome. But as I told you guys, when you do things like this, what do you expect to happen? This is the life. And now it is time to deal for what's to come. But you guys, y'all let me know. I want y'all to leave those early predictions for Jerome. We will continue to talk about early predictions for these characters. And we're going to continue to just get ready for Snowfall Season 6, the final season of this great show, man. It's been a hell of a journey, man. And I truly do appreciate all you guys. Y'all been riding with me since the very beginning. And now it is time to see how everything's going to end in this show. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace. Teach your man how to squabble. Get that trigger next time, nigga.